Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked. <laughs> now, today, we're playing some Tarkov. Now, as many of you may know, um, if you follow me on Twitch, I've been addicted to this game. As many of you are, when you first get into Tarkov, it is an addicting survival game. The game is awesome. So, um, I want to take you through my beginning stages. Obviously, from the start, I didn't know anything about the game. I came in um, and got very lucky with the, you know, the kills and stuff that you get. So, I want to take you through my beginning intense moments. Some of the points um, where I learned things in the game and uh, hopefully they help you get started in Tarkov. If not, you know, hopefully they just give you morale to the fact that you're not the only one struggling learning the map, getting used to everything. So I want to at least make this a little bit more informative for the first video. Um, obviously, a ton of people come into my streams asking for, like, what, what, what is this? What's going on? So I'd at least like to inform you guys. Obviously, we, we play other survival games, Ark, Rust, that kind of thing. And you guys probably aren't very familiar with this. If you are, hope you enjoy the, the clips. There are pre some pretty good, pretty good clips here just for... You know, starting out, but I want to um, kind of teach you guys the game a little bit, um, so you can play with me. Check me out on Twitch, and uh, hope you hope you enjoy Tarkov because it is a good break, a good change of pace. Um, obviously, a lot of the um, survival games that we play are really stressful. You you have your base that you have to protect 24/7, which means you can't sleep at night. In Tarkov, basically, you get into the map, um, much like DayZ or anything like that, and you want to loot. Get as much as you can, get out, kill some uh, players, see if you can get some gear, and uh, extract from the map. So once you extract from the map, you take everything uh, that you got in there and you get to put it into your protected stash. You don't have to worry about staying up all night watching it. So you definitely have to get used to the mechanics and everything. It's a very intense game and very um, tactical. I'd say you die very quickly like in Rust, um, but I hope you enjoy. We're going to go through um, some early intense moments and some fun times that we've had in Tarkov. Hope you enjoy the game. Hope you enjoy uh, it on the channel. Just let me know if you do. Let me know down below. Obviously, um, for those of you looking for ARC stuff, we're not playing till Genesis, so expect Tarkov till then. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Alright, we're rocking the Mosin. We're going to dorms, guys. I like to charge right up. This is like my favorite place to come. To get some PvP. You're gonna have to learn customs. <laughs> guys, I'm just getting used to the extracts and stuff. Because you got a lot of quests and stuff here. Is nobody here? Wow. I've been going to this marked room. I got the closest spawn to the the dorms, I think, so we'll just grab it. Oh, there's somebody here. Never seen these things before. Well, this one I have. I don't really need that. I forgot a backpack, man. Maybe we should... Watch this doorway for a second. What is this? This looks... Oh, this looks fun, man. It's like the M1 Grand from... Oh, shoot. You dead? Well, it's a cool gun. <laughs> Good thing it had ammo in it. I've got a key for this room. Is there anything in here? I wanna... Listen, I thought we heard somebody below us. This game is really... Stressful, man. You gotta listen for every sound. Okay, I was kinda listening, but... Oh, this was an actual dude. It was an actual man. Let me take his armor. Nice! <laughs> I can't believe we killed him with this gun. Probably should've... Should we, should we take that? No, I'll take that. I'm scared, guys. There's a lot of shots out there. I'm gonna go back in here. I wanna see if we can find some loot through the building. So this was my noob self, not knowing anything about inventory management. And um, 
You should definitely bring a bigger backpack, especially if you're going to the marked room. You should also grab the gun from the guy that you kill, considering the fact that I didn't even grab his gun in this clip. Um, but we killed him, and uh, you know, you live, you learn. Um, one thing you can do, which you can see, I didn't even insure my uh, weapon. What you you can insure your weapon, so my Mosin would normally have an, an another symbol next to it saying it was insured. I could have dropped that Mosin and picked up his gun, um, because if nobody extracts with your gear that you've insured, say you die, um, and it's insured, you'll get it back in a couple days um, from the trader. So something I should have known, but you know, I was just scared in the dorms. All right, so one thing you definitely need to learn about Tarkov is to not get discouraged. The nice thing is you have your scav run that you can do. There's no risk to you. They give you a random loadout and you can go in and just loot. And uh, if you die, you know, you don't lose anything. If you extract, then you then you get your stuff. So don't get discouraged. You know, sometimes you, you have a full loadout and you walk out from spawn and just get one shot in the head by someone from a hill that you, you couldn't see. And sometimes you walk inside and you find just a ton of dead bodies all over the place with free loot that you don't even have to do any work for. Well, maybe a little bit of work. Yeah. Friendly? Oh! I'm a scab, I don't know why he's shooting at me. He must be a player. Maybe? Maybe he's mad I shot one earlier. There was a big fight right here. I think he's the last remaining survivor. So we gotta... Somebody is also having a lot of fun over there. Come on. I think that's it. Jeez, going up these escalators is nerve wracking. Oh my god, there was a massacre. I think he was the last remaining survivor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what the heck, man? What is he doing? What's that guy doing? Oh man, look at this guy. We didn't even have to do anything. Well, we had to kill a couple scabs, but... Check this out, man. Free loot. I don't even know what to grab. We definitely want this. Oh, I can't put it with this. Take these. These are... Those are terrible. Take that. Dude. Maybe we should take his backpack. Oh, he's got a battery. We need that. Put all this in here. Look at that. So the hardest part about this game can be getting to the extract. So the first thing you want to learn is where to get out. So once you get a bunch of gear off of some guys, you can beeline it to the closest extract and get the heck out of there. Of course, sometimes people will camp them, but I haven't run into this problem in Tarkov as much as people complain about it. So... You definitely need to be careful, and you need to actually stay in the extraction point. As you can see at this point, I didn't know that. And, uh, get yourself some nice loot. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I played a lot of 007 GoldenEye for N64. Now, if you played it on the hardest difficulty, you had to sneak around everywhere. I mean, this is the same for a lot of video games but this is just the one that I think of all the time because I had my silence pistol oh my god now you had to sneak around everywhere this game is very similar it's very tactical you need to think you need to move slowly and don't move too quickly you pay attention to what's around you otherwise you get shot by someone in the middle of the night now I don't like night raids very much but sometimes it gets dark when you're in the middle of it I can't even see anything. I killed someone over here. I started recording. Sorry. It's so dark that I can't even see. Oh wait, this is him. Hey, look at that. 
What does he have? Dang, man. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Dude, don't even have any space. Put a flashlight on something. Oh, nice. We can do that. That's good to know. Can we put that on something? Oh, look at that, dude. We're learning. This guy was loaded up. We got more from him than we got in the dorms. We can get this. Look at that. I love the Tetris. Okay, so I... I wasn't really recording, but I started it now, guys. Let me fill you in on our situation. I, I think somebody's coming back. I killed this guy. As he was looting these other ones. I think we're going to have some loot. But he's got a friend. I, I shot them both, but his friend ran away. And he's been walking around. I think... Die! What the heck? Die already! Oh god. Yeah, that's the guy. That's his friend. He knows that there's loot here. That had to hurt, though. Did that... Right? That had to hurt, right? I hit him? We need a butter gun. That one sucks. Evidently. I don't hear him. Maybe, maybe he ran away? Alright. I knew not to loot too early for once. I've died too many times trying to loot people. Okay. Alright, alright. We can use this, right? Okay, okay, okay. This will be better than the shotgun. I, I think he... I don't know where he went. Oh, I'm so nervous, man. We're gonna lay down to loot and he's gonna shoot us in the head. Look like a looks like a battle went down here. I don't see him at all. We got a we got a friendly scab going over there. He's gonna go check it out for us. Oh my god. These are costly. Let me get this. What is this AK? We got a backpack now. Um, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of? We'll get rid of this. I'm gonna knife him. All right. I think he, I think he cleared the area for us. Oh, dude, look at this thing. I don't think we need that. Let's go get more stuff. This thing looks like it. <laughs> this doesn't even look like a gun. That that laser is in the way of the scope. All right. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh. Oh, I'm never... What is this? Oh, nice. Oh, we can't wear that with that. This is a... Why is this so big? Oh, look at that gun. Dude, never seen any of this stuff before. Oh, man, we need to get out of here. So I definitely uh, recommend uh, trying to learn what some of the item costs are and try and keep an eye on what you think like is most expensive for each slot because I'm, I'm a hoarder and I just pretty much grabbed out everything from the beginning without paying attention really to what I was grabbing at all so try and keep an eye on what you're grabbing and what's expensive because you can make a lot or a little depending on what you loot <laughs> and at the beginning I was making very little now I'm not gonna lie the game is definitely sometimes about luck I mean just you know, you could just be just sitting in a corner for a second um, to reload or, you know, 
heal yourself and then some fully geared guy comes by and just you know sticks his head right out in front of you now remember you can always be on the other end of that so you know you get sniped in the head once with a ton of gear don't get discouraged you quit run it back you're probably gonna do just fine it's just you know sometimes you just <laughs> you get unlucky Yo. Yo, look at this guy. I was just killing scabs, man. Oh my god, I've never seen this backpack. What is this? What is this? Oh, sh oh my god. I think that's pretty good. Alright, we're gonna ask somebody. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Quite an upgrade. I want to search this backpack. I can't believe he was just running by. He had another one of the armor in there. Look at this. What is this helmet? Thought I heard something. It might have just been me. I'm paranoid. Whoa. Search it. This is full too. This is good armor. Maybe... How did he get two sets of... Maybe he must have killed someone, right? I've never even seen these magazines. Oh, we need to get out. It's time to extract, guys. Whoa. So, also, traders will give you a task, kind of like all over, like on the different maps and stuff like that. I'd recommend just from my point of view, just playing one map a ton. I played Factory until I learned where every extract was, you know, where everybody kind of goes for fighting. And then I moved on to Customs because that was kind of like the next one where you got a lot of quests. And then it seems like Shoreline is kind of like the next one you moved on to. So it's all about learning the maps, where loot is, where people fight. And you're really not going to do that well um, until you get to the point where you learn all that stuff. Now, I... Like, I couldn't, um, stress the point more to always have a map on either, like, your phone or other screen to see where things are, where the extracts are, stuff like that, because you never know what's gonna happen, and, uh, you'll, you might get, like, some really loaded out kit and then want to find your extract fast, who knows, um, but it's always good to learn the map first before taking anything good in. just go in with basic gear or you can also go into offline mode where you can actually just run through the map and just fight scavs and not even worry about other players being on the map that's a great way to learn because you won't get anything out of it but you won't lose anything if you die so it's like a practice Oh, he was a player? <laughs> oh, I need to get scav kills with an AK. And I'm sick of coming to this map. But I, th I think we're probably gonna leave with this guy's stuff. I kinda want this. <laughs> this is the problem. The last three times I've come, I've killed someone and just wanted to extract. I don't know how I feel about Shoreline, though. It's all over the place. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what? Well, I just spawned in. What the heck? You can go up here? Dude, I think this guy was picking on the fellow scavs. We did a bunch of, We did a... We did a service here, guys. Look at this guy. Mosin in from up here. And if you're not sold yet, I mean, this map also 
is awesome. I mean, the way that they've modeled it, it just feels so surreal. And going through the, the mall on Interchange, I mean, things are modeled after, like, real-life stores. It feels real. The developers have put so much into it where you actually feel like you're in a mall and you're fighting. So you don't even get the... It's not all just, you know, the whole survival and fighting and all this stuff. You're also It also feels like you're actually exploring this real world that they put. I just barely saw someone move over here, so I shot. I think. I think it. I think it was a person. I also don't know if he's dead or not. Your frames go down a lot more when you're in the scope. I've noticed. I don't like the scope either. It was. It was a person. Oh my god! What was he doing? He's not loaded, but dang. He could have been. Why couldn't you be loaded? And here, guys, I present to you probably my, my my favorite clip from my early game. This is where I was really hooked, dude. When I killed these uh, fully geared duo, that's when that's when you ain't turning back from this game. So much fun, and it's a game where a solo player can actually make a difference. Now at this point they have no idea where I am. It's always good to reposition after your first shot or something like that. I've learned because people are very good at knowing where things came from, especially experienced players and stuff like that. So moving position and trying to get to a different angle from where you were originally shot is always better. Sorry, Mose, and I love you, but I don't think we can take you. Jesus. These guys were shooting so loud. Oh my god, look at this. They were shooting so loud. I, I came up here. It took me so long to get up here because I was so lost. And they were still where I heard them. never seen these before. Let's just hope we don't get shot by someone. I hope it was just two of these guys. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, man. This is a really cool gun. We need to save all these so we can have fun with them later. Let me see here. Oh, nice. Take that one. Should I take it? I feel like I should take this one. Don't need those. Let's put I want the like mask things. What's in here? One sec. I haven't heard anybody yet. We should probably take these if they have like good. Oh, man. I'm just going to assume anything that they had in their bag was probably worth it. Probably sm they're probably smarter than I am. Alright, and I did end up making it out. Um, I was really proud of myself. I even recorded um, getting out of the extract because I was so happy with this one. And that's what the game's all about. It's all about just having some fun. Hopefully, you spawn in with a scab with a Mosin and you just take out two fully geared guys. And that's the dream, guys. It's a it's an awesome game. I really enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was 
relatively informative for you guys who are just starting out to play with me as well. Um, I know a lot of you are new on Twitch, um, watching me and playing along with me, so I wanted to put out something for you guys. For those who already know Tarkov, I hope it was enjoyable to see a noob get through a, a few things. And I hope uh, to see you guys all on Twitch, because I'll be streaming there every day, Tarkov, at night. Every day at night. Yes, that makes sense. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up for me, and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got a lot more Tarkov coming. We'll catch you next time.